Welcome to another showing of The Cocktail Enthusiast with myself, The Cocktail Enthusiast. Boy, let me tell you, man, I've filmed this video four different times. Two times I had busted mics. The third time I thought the mic was good, but it, it just... I filmed this video four times already, this being the fourth. Surely this is the one. But I'm pumped to be back. I'm pumped to give you guys a new cocktail because today we're looking at how to make a Cuban special. Let's go. Now, if you like what you're about to see, click that like button, click that subscribe button so I can continue to give you, the viewer, that entertaining juice, that flavor, that yeah, oh yeah. Now let's take a look at what you're gonna need to make this cocktail. You're gonna want white rum. The recipe says triple sec, but I ran out, so I only have Contro left. It's not much of a loss because Contro is a little better anyway, so orange liqueur of your choice, lime juice, pineapple juice, a pineapple wedge, and today's glass of choice, we're looking at a martini. For our pour, we're gonna start off with one and a half ounces of your white rum. Next, we're gonna sprinkle in one ounce of lime juice. Then we're gonna follow that up with three quarters of an ounce of your pineapple juice. And then lastly, one bar spoon of your orange liqueur. Now let's get some ice in our shaker. You know it ain't the cocktail enthusiast unless we pull out that Ziploc bag, cause we're making cocktails at home. Now let's get this guy sealed up. It's time to shake off those demons. Now you wanna grab your glass out the freezer, then we're gonna fine strain to catch all those ice chunks and any pulp from the pineapple juice. And lastly for the garnish, you're gonna slip on a pineapple wedge. And now, it's time for the taste rating. Oh shit. Mmm. Oh, this is very sharp. This is very sharp, so let me tell you, the lime juice really cuts deep. It's not overly oppressive, but you can definitely taste it. That lime juice just comes through flamboyantly, explosively on that taste palette, and it just wrecks everything. Now, this cocktail for me personally, I would say on a scale of okay, amazing, okay, good, great, amazing, oh my God, she, she. This is probably like great. This is a great cocktail, like right in the middle. What I will say is, don't take my word for it. <laughs> you take that sip and love life and confirm for yourself that this cocktail is okay. But if you think it's amazing, go for it. Actually, I'll give it one more sip. Ooh. Oh yeah, that lime juice, man, let me tell you. It really hits different. Mmm. Mmm. The pineapple makes it much better, trust me. Mm. Almost slurped my fingernails off. The pineapple and the drink go hand in hand, man, let me tell you. Mm. Oh, oh, jeez. So you can expect to see my next video next week. My mic's up and running, everything's working again. I've ironed out all the kinks, so you don't have to worry about me being off the grid for like 18 generations. I'll be there, don't you worry. But until then, sink your teeth into this cocktail. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you don't, because I can take both ends of the spectrum. And remember, I'm not a bartender nor a specialist. I'm just a cocktail enthusiast making some good ass cocktails and having a good ass time. I'll see you guys next week for that cocktail. I'm gonna go and enjoy this one though. So, ow, woo. Mm. I kind of like it better when I like end it with the whoop, you know, like the, the whoo kind of has a bit of a, it's a little weaker, you know, like I'd rather do like the, ow, whoop, you know, that's what I'm talking about. I'll see you guys next week. You better be thirsty. Trust.